I will show you WhatsApp Chat Converter, a tool you can run locally on your computer to convert any of your WhatsApp chats to HTML. So you can then open it in a browser and print it or save it as PDF or share it with others or just archive it and be sure that even 20 years from now you will still be able to read it because HTML and PDF are formats that are here to stay. So this is how it works. You first have to get your chat out of WhatsApp and onto your computer's local hard drive. And here's a link to the WhatsApp FAQ. How to export your chat history. You can of course switch to your preferred language if you want to. If you are on Android, you just open the chat and then in the top right corner, you have those three vertical menu dots. If you click there, you see this menu, more options, more and export chat. If you are on iOS, it's slightly different. You don't have those three dots, but if you are in the chat, you want to export, you can just in the top bar, tap on the chat name, the contact name, the group name, and then you see this option, export chat. Then you will be asked if you want to attach media or not. If you export it without media, the export will be a really small file because it contains only the text of the chat. And if you attach media, all the documents, all the the pictures and the videos and the voicemails will also be exported and everything will be packed together in one big zip file, which can of course become very, very big if it's a long chat with a lot of media. So you will then be asked what to do with this zip file. And if it's not too big, let's say just 100 megabytes, the easiest way is to send it to yourself as a WhatsApp message. And then on your local computer, open WhatsApp web, or if you have a local WhatsApp client installed, just open your own chat message and download the zip file from there onto your local hard drive. Or otherwise you just save it in your local in, in your favorite cloud for example in google drive or dropbox or icloud or uh, onedrive and then download it to your computer so in the end you will have something like this a file on your computer whatsapp chat with lost coin band so that's the name of the chat you have just exported dot zip this here is just a fictitious uh, AI generated band chat for demonstration purposes. So next you can run the tool. So if you're on Windows, you can download this executable. And if you run it, you'll see a warning because it's uh, not signed. So you can just hit more info and run anyway. And it will then show a file picker dialog where you can browse for your exported WhatsApp zip file, open it. And now you can either convert all the messages in the chat, or if you were just interested in messages from a specific period, you can export an excerpt and define the start and end date for the export. If the console doesn't accept your keyboard input, you just click with your mouse right into this console so focus is set now to the right window and you just hit enter twice to export everything and you will see a list of all the participants in the chat and you will be asked which of them is you so let's assume i am chris and then you can just hit enter to open the result in your browser so that's it now we have this local chat html file rendered in your browser looks like a whatsapp chat you have all the media right in the message you have different colors for different participants and because we said that i am chris my own messages are in green and aligned to the right just as it is in whatsapp 
And there's a second version, this one here, which does not contain the media in line, but linked. So it's much more compact for printing purposes or whatever. So here, those uh, documents, they are just links where you can navigate uh, forth and back. And if you look into the folder from where you have started the converter, you find there now a folder that has the same name as the zip file. And in this folder, you find those two HTML files and another folder where all the attachments are stored. So this is the folder you might want to archive. And if you are not running uh, the script on Windows, if you are a Mac or a Linux user, or if you don't want to run this executable, you can run the Python script. So if you have Python installed on your computer, you can run my converter tool in a shell window, a terminal window. So open a CMD window, you just paste this command here, and that's the same thing. So it just runs the latest version of the tool. If you are on Linux or Mac, you won't see this file picker dialog, probably. Uh, if you don't, you will just be prompted for the file name. So instead of picking the file name in this file picker, you will have to enter the path to the zip file you want to convert. So this is it. I hope you find it useful. Bye-bye.